Hello and welcome back to the Old Gold and Black. I'm Tom Rouse and today I'm giving you a preview for tomorrow's match against Brentford which is the last Wolves game before the international break until the 9th of September. Wolves are going to look to bounce back from their disappointing defeat last weekend against Cardiff but I do expect Nuno to keep the same team. The one possible change that I would make is to bring in Ryan Bennett for Miranda, which I know that I've spoken about a lot, particularly after Bennett's performance on Wednesday night against Southampton. I thought he was very, very capable, dealt with the physicality of a big player like Charlie Austin and perhaps against Brentford in a difficult, tight little stadium which Miranda won't be used to. It might be a wise decision to play somebody with a little bit more championship experience tomorrow. Brentford haven't won a game yet this season. They're sitting bottom of the table with only one point. So they're going to be trying their best to right that wrong. They have apparently been creating lots of chances in their game so far. So that's not a problem. It could be a busy day for our defence. It's just their lack of organisation in defence which has caused them to be bottom of the table so far. We need to take advantage of that. And I think that we will with the possession that we're going to have tomorrow in the deadly balls that um, Ruben Neves is able to put through. We just need to be a little bit more clinical in front of goal. Wolves actually did the double over Brentford last season, winning dramatically 2-1 near the end of the season uh, as part of that winning streak that we went on around about March, April time, with Helder Costa scoring a goal in the last couple of minutes to complete a turnaround from being 1-0 down. Wolves have suffered some heavy defeats there though in the last few years, losing 4-0 in 2014 15 season and 3-0 the following season so it hasn't been a happy hunting ground but we have had some very big victories there as well uh, one in the league one season which made us all believe that promotion was really on the card in terms of some transfer news it looks as if Dave Edwards is in talks with Reading to leave the club and I'll be very sad to see him leave if you've been following this channel for a long time you'll know that I'm a big fan of Dangerous Dave I've really appreciated the work and the effort that he's put in over the last 10 years I know that he's not a great footballer by any stretch of the imagination but for me he epitomizes hard work and effort he's overachieved in life he's been part of the best Welsh team as well in the last 60 years played and scored in the Premier League he's been part of promotion teams for us he's been an integral part and he's he is a Wolves fan at heart as well he'll be sad to go I'm sad to see him go but in terms of a football club now there's no place for sentimentality which we've seen in the past Another rumour that's been doing the rounds today is that Jordan Graham is off on loan to Fulham, which I talked about on Wednesday, or Thursday morning, yesterday morning, in my video after the Southampton game. I felt that he lacked a little bit of cutting edge, which he had always shown previously. His balls into the box are a little bit poor, so hopefully with regular match practice and training, perhaps in a different environment as well, would be good for him. He'll be able to come back and have an impact in the team at a later date. So thank you very much for watching again. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll be going to the game on Monday as well. So there's going to be a review of Saturday's game and then there's going to be a review of Wolves against West Bromwich Albion. The under 23s. Tickets are free in the North Bank. Get down there and support the boys. I'm looking forward to seeing some of the young players as well strut their stuff. So thank you very much for watching. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.